Alright folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the countryside of Scotland and today we've got the backdrop of the North Sea in the distance. Today we've come to this little coastal ducat which is located between Montrose and Arbroath. You'll see it at the coast side of the main road. The tatties are not yet harvested here though so I'm coming with the greatest respects to the farmer. I'm just going to walk along the middle bit between the drills there because I think all the heads have been pulverised off this and they've probably been sprayed off and they'll be harvested within this next week but when I saw this ancient historical wonder here I had to come and video it and document the history here on the channel it's the first time I've ever visited this site I'm always intrigued to see like the different like levels of decay on all these ducats at one time it was law for estates to have a ducat because I think the government at the time used some of the pigeon dung as an ingredient for like gunpowder or something back like back in the days of the old like naval battles and stuff like that they used it to make gunpowder so crazy wee nuggets of history I learned that from one of the subscribers that commented so yeah get in the comments if you know any more interesting history We'll jump straight into this and take a look. If places like this is not wide open, I never go like force them away in. We're always just wanting to document the history that's on show here. And it looks like the roof is off this one as well. Yeah, it's crazy to see this folks. Look, the stone's just on its last legs there. Sometimes videos like this can be the last do like documentation of the history. We figured out that the stones around the outside on the ducats was there on purpose for the pigeons to sit on when they came out and flew around. Okay, and that's like a perch for them. And wow, it's so cool to see another one of these. That's such a like a such a busy main road just next to here. That, yeah, it's totally dangerous trying to even walk to this place. It's so much less windy at this side of the building as well. Look at this down on the ground. What's that? Oh, like an old bottle top, folks. How crazy is it? What? That's the sort of stuff you find on these adventures. J and T D Y E. Oh, J and T die. Whoever knows about that? There's an interesting little bit of history. I don't know how well it comes out. It's like an old lemonade cork or something from back in the day. Maybe somebody had been at, like caring for the ducat back in those days and he was out here having a refreshing drink looking over this beautiful seascape I can see there's a big ship sitting out here docked or harboured or whatever the word would be they always wait here so they can get into Montrose Harbour which is the main local harbour yeah check this out look the remains of what's been like a door latch or a door catch and this has been quite a small door on this ducat compared to other ones we've seen wow it's so cool to record this folks because look it is literally on its last legs here there's only a few of the pigeon holes left up here which is a shame to see some of these ducats I've been to have got the pigeon holes all the way around still this one's not had an internal wall so it hasn't been as big as some of the more recent ducats we've visited I always compare these to like ROC bunkers in a way because there's so many of them that were doing the same job over the country but they're all kind of in different levels of decay so it's interesting for a wee video to come and like document how each one looks this one's kind of between Montrose and Lunan Bay on the coast, east coast of Scotland here you can tell it's a summertime environment, late summer kind of autumn because everything's just growing up here like massive bushes and there's just crazy spider webs between everything. It's a madness. Yeah, look at that. The willow herb seeds, it's like caught up in spider webs. It's a crazy scene in here. Like you can see spiders between the bushes there. I don't even know if that comes out on the camera. Wow, the spider's running towards the camera.
It's been cool to come to this particular ducat because I've seen it from the road often and it's been one of these places I've wanted to visit. But often when the crops is too tall in the field and stuff, you just can't get near things like this to explore them. You just have to wait till the right time of year or the right day you get the opportunity. And when I saw it today as I was driving past, I thought I definitely have to go and like document it. A lot of these, the pigeons would have come in and out of like holes on the roof. They had little pigeon holes up there they would have come out and in off. And I think the estate owners would have eaten the pigeons and their eggs, as well as having to keep probably the pigeon droppings for the military back then. It's, it's interesting stuff, folks. It looks like there's a limestone render here. Look at that. It's an ancient kind of uh, cement, I should say, not render. Limestone cement. But then I'm not sure if it's maybe been put in at a later time to try and strengthen like the last remaining parts of this structure. Wow, what an interesting little building though. I can't believe the amount of spiders that's in here though, folks. They must all be sheltering here because it's out of the wind. Look at the ancient sandstone lintel right there. It's stuff like that that gives an old building like this just so much character. You can often see how the stones were put in for the pigeon holes. It's like the last remains of small bits of history. Look at that there, folks. The two stones are built in. A massive slater crawling away under there. Yeah, the wildlife in these places is incredible. There's just spiders down there as well. Anyway, on this adventure. It's been incredible coming in and seeing something, but I can't believe how thin the walls are compared to how they've originally looked. It's almost like somebody's come in here and taken the stone. Not unless it's just so old that it's all just underfoot here. Quite often with these old structures, the roof was also made of that same stone like this. So once the wooden beams like rotted, the weight of the stones just pushed the roof in. And you see that with a lot of like abandoned structures in Scotland. Oh, look at this. There's an old... Oh, I thought it was an old part of the building, but it's actually an old bit of a farm machine. I think it's the front of some sort of grubber tine or a plough. Yeah. It's a right variation of history, folks. And I do love to hear variation of different videos as well on the channel. It's not all just like one thing or one type of history. I love just like uncovering all the different stuff. Look, like this stone here has got the narrow opening. So I'm not sure how much of this side here has actually gone. Yeah, it's like that whole side's been busted out. Yeah, so many years has passed off from the history, just... There's hardly any remains of it to see, but there's like little clues just left. Look, it's had a render there. It's like a limestone render, it's been over the sandstone and the rough stones. That just covered it all up back in the day, so you couldn't tell like how rough the construction was. But most of the prominent stones are like carved sandstone, which is quite cool to see. And it's got the detailed corner stones there on top, like at the roof height. It must have looked quite impressive. Everything's just broken off the whole way around here. But there is remains of like what must have been a gutter piper. There's some sort of like metal brackets up there on the wall and I noticed that at both sides it's most likely been some sort of gutter these stones may have been like reclaimed stones or even off cuts from a more important project because you can see marks in them and like they're kind of rough and you don't really see that in important structures so maybe this was just built on the cheap that's the way it looks from what I'm seeing Unlike some other estates, which must have had plenty of money, they could just be extravagant when they built their ducats. Look, there's even sandstone here at the corner underfoot. Yeah, what an adventure that's been though, folks. I think I'll get a photo from this angle down here and then we'll head on back out of this field. I'm sure within like this week, probably by the end of the week, this will all be harvested. Probably by the time I edit this video and upload it. So it's interesting to see this, and then it'll get replanted, and places like this will be inaccessible once again. 
So often you would damage crops trying to walk over, and I always try not to do that when I'm exploring on my adventures, but just check it out from this angle, folks. It's almost an eerie old building standing there in the middle of the field. Think of the coastal weather which batters that all year round here. It's crazy how much abandoned history of different varieties is just all around in like Angus and different areas of Scotland. So interesting to see stuff like that. I would say pretty soon that wall's so thin that it's gonna actually fall down. Okay. Because you do get extreme weather out here on the coast. And then in the winter, also, the water goes between the bricks, and when it freezes, it often pushes them apart and cracks them and knocks off the render. Anyway, let's keep this adventure going, folks. I'm going to make my way back to the outer perimeter of this field here. It's been cool to see another bit of abandoned British history here. And I would think probably like there'll be houses in England as well which have ducats from that era. Because I don't think it was just a Scottish thing. But it's an interesting little building just sitting there, just forgotten. And the more time that passes, the more it decays and falls down. And that's how I'm happy that I've been able to video it and document it. At least you can see how it looked when the walls were standing, if they do fall. And I love just looking out over the North Sea there. It's such an incredible view. Anyway folks, it's been a short little explore, but it's been cool. It's been something different. But I'm going to end it here. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll catch you very soon with the next one.